Hello there everybody, what is going on? My name is Adit and welcome back to another brand new video and uh, as I said in last video, we are going to be talking about the icons and the flags and basically, you know, it is going to be a very quick video, maybe it will be less than 5 minutes or so so we are just going to be get getting right into this thing well, we are using icons in pretty much every single concept well, if you have ever seen this thing la that, um, you know Back in the day, you used to use something named as glyph icons or glyph icons. Then you started using one free version of them, and uh, that uh, I don't really remember that name because I have been using this so much. And basically, you know, you can see literally every single type of uh, icon over here that you you have to use in your project. So you know they have just defined it very clearly right over here. If you want to see these icons, you can simply just go to the Semantic UI website, and then uh, you know you can just go ahead and check it out. So let's just say uh, you want some kind of icon. You you can simply just see the code right over here by clicking on this little icon right over here. You can simply say add to calendar icon alarm icon alarm outline icon okay yeah I, I did remember the name because it is written right over here font awesome well with the help of font awesome also you were able to create so many good icons even bootstrap is using it, it as of now so you know you can simply just go ahead and uh, copy this kind of things well let's just say you want something like this uh, doctor icon and you'll be getting the icon of the doctor so you know i you can simply see that i left it off right where we left it last time okay i'm just gonna remove it all and, and let's just say i want a ui button okay and in this ui button let's just say i want a icon so how we define that is there's a i tag then we are going to be putting in class and what class we are going to be giving in here is um, let's just say um, let's just take about the text editors because that's when we are going to be using it most of the times uh, let's just say I want this copy icon so what I can do here I class is equals to copy icon and as soon as we get over there uh, let's just go ahead and refresh the page you should be able to see that this little copy icon is been right over here now and uh, as we stated in the first video guys we can group the buttons okay so i guess we are going to be doing that when we are using the text editor when we are going to create the text editor we are going to be simply saying ui buttons and then every single button with uh, ui button icon and you know uh, let's just say I want this two times. I guess paste is just called as paste and cut is called as cut um, Yeah, uh, exactly. So paste and Cut let's just go ahead and make another one saying uh, Save icon all right and let's just go ahead and refresh the page and now you can see how the exactly the text editors do we are creating the exactly same UI and <clears throat> we are not using so much uh, hyper type of things you know this is where the power of semantic UI really comes into the play you can see just there I have defined a UI buttons and each of the button is uh, acting as something like copy icon paste icon obviously we are not creating a text editor and it is not really even functional okay uh, you guys can see it right over there by clicking on them uh, but that's all about this uh, these little things you can go ahead and copy this little names right over let's just say I want the rupee icon or shekel icon I, I, I haven't really seen that kind of icon before uh, okay uh, and I just have to go ahead put it right over there and press F5 and as you can see it just goes ahead and puts that icon right over there so that's really how you use it and even in the sentence let's just say I'm removing this little part and say in H1 I'm writing there I uh, is there any icon for low uh, let me just go ahead and quickly search for that okay no icon for low um, I am blind let's just say I'm gonna say I am blind and I want to show it by icon I, I just press the I tag with class is equals to blind icon 
and just like that you know you can simply see how we use this icon pretty much efficiently in our sentence right over there so you can go ahead and put anything like this so you can simply just go through this all of this list you can go ahead and make pinterest things and all of that things um so that's all about this icons uh, okay sorry guys because i had to go over there because my brother was calling me and you know i, I just had to go ahead and look at him he's a, li a little brother okay so moving up next we have here flags and basically you know you can simply just download this little thing separately and basically you can go ahead and create the flags of any country that is given right over here and basically you know you can use it in your setup i guess yeah uh so what we can simply just do here is we can go over there i live in and let's just say i live in india so i what i have to do is simply just remove this little thing india's little shortcut or i guess that's what you say it uh i don't know iso code uh it's i n flag and that's it now if you see when i refresh the page you know i get this little icon of india's flag and let's just say i was living in usa i could have simply just type in the usa i guess that's uh no that's not uh, okay us i think so just like that okay and there we go and i can simply just take that in for any amount of uh flags i guess well uk isn't there uh, i i never knew that uh united kingdom is basically okay i guess that's that, uh, that's some other thing but you can go ahead and use any of these flags and use it in your project so that uh, you know you can create some new things like uh, you know you you want to create the flags you want to create a drop down list with all of these names and you just want that uh, beside to these names there should be one flag and you don't really know how to get it like you know some of the times you are going to be needing to create a text box which has um uh a number coding system over there which is plus nine one plus one plus one zero two plus one one eight or something like that and basically you have to just go ahead and create some kind of uh, icons over there you this is really easy for you if you are really looking forward for that and basically you know i i don't guess uh, i have seen any other library doing this thing so uh, yeah that's pretty much it and thank you guys so much for watching if you love this video just go ahead and drop that like button and subscribe to this channel this would help me a lot i just really want this uh, i'll be putting this little icon <laughs> um no image of this little silver play button over here will be i hope we'll be getting 100,000 subscribers so that's why i, I I'm, I'm really trying hard at this youtube stuff okay so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you love this video hit that like button subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and basically just mm, peace out